hi guys welcome back to my kitchen so in today's video i am showing you guys how i make my fried bitter bowl and i'm also going to be showing you guys how to get rid of that bitter taste in your bitter bowl it's very easy and very simple let's get into the video so the only meat that i'm going to be using is the beef skin and the oxtails so i've already cleaned washed my meat with lime juice and vinegar you, could, you don't have to use both, but I just like to use both of them when it comes to the to the oxtail just to make sure it's really clean. And my beef skin, I am only, I like to boil it first and then I cut them later. I don't know, just because I don't, I usually put my meats in the pressure cooker. So I feel like when I cut them into little pieces, they get soft faster than the oxtail so i'm just i just like to leave them whole and well they get softer faster than the other meats so i like to leave them whole and then just cut them later on and also did you guys know that paprika is just dry be uh, red bell peppers i did not know that i did not know that i can make my own bell peppers or my own be um paprika which means african people can use paprika in any dish because we use a lot of bell peppers in our dishes so i'm gonna cook my meats for five minutes in my pressure cooker and while that is going i'm going this is the secret to um getting rid of the bitter taste in your um bitter bowl i don't know if you could do this with the kit today because of how small they are but yeah i figured out well my man helped me figure out how to get rid of the the bitter taste in the bitter bowl. So one time he said, oh, he wants to eat garden egg. So I'm like, what is a garden egg? And with me, anything that he say that he want to eat or anything anybody say they want to eat, the first thing I do is go on YouTube and I research it to see if I've actually made it before or if, um, if it's something that I can make. And the thing is with my, if you don't know, my man is Nigerian, but the thing is that you, that nobody knows is, well, not nobody knows, but like most people don't know is like, most of these dishes from Africa, they're most most of the time they're similar, but it's just we we call them different, or they add something, everybody adds something, or take away something. So when he said he wanted fried um garden egg, I was like, what the heck is a garden egg? I actually thought he was talking about eggplants. So yeah, so I was like, okay, I went now I went on YouTube and I'm watching them make it. And it's biddable. And then once she was, like, the videos that I was watching, once they were done cooking it, it was literally fried biddable. So I'm like, um, yeah, I could definitely make this. So then when I bought it, he was like, oh, I, but I don't like the um, the bitter taste because that's, that's mostly the reason why I don't usually call for the dishes because I don't like the bitter taste. And I know a couple of people who really don't like the bitter taste either. So I'm like, okay, so how do you get rid of the bitter taste? And then he started peeling it. So I'm like, so you want to you wanna sit here and peel these bit up all one by one? He's like, yeah, if, if you want, you don't have to, whatever. So I was like, of course I want to because I want to try to see if it really do get rid of the bitter taste. So I did it, I made it, and it actually, it tastes exactly like fried bitter ball, but without the bitter taste. So I was like, oh my goodness, like what's in the world so now i made this dish for my friends also and everybody seemed to like it but yeah so that's what i'm gonna be showing you guys so after i peel them i just put them in my little model thingy and then i smash it so if you don't have this you can also use a blender but just know it's gonna come out really smooth or a, a glass cup just put your little the bit of bowl in a glass in a bowl and then just smash it the same way so this is my meat they're all cooked now i am going to cut my oxtails into little pieces as little as i, as I could get them and also my beef skin i'm also going to cut them into little pieces as well so now let's just put the soup together i'm adding oil to my pan to my pot and then i'm going to add my bell peppers I already um, pre-boiled my bell peppers. I cooked them like the night before and I just put them in like Ziploc bags and I just keep them in there because I use a lot of bell peppers so I just like to make things easier for myself. So I just added my bell peppers. My, one tip that I will actually give you is make sure your bell peppers is less than your bit of My bell peppers was a little bit more 
than my bit eyeballs and you could see it so yeah you don't want that so yeah after adding my seasoning i'm just gonna allow since my peppers peppers are already cooked i'm just gonna allow this to cook for like not too long like five to six minutes and then i'm going to add my bit eyeball make sure your bell peppers taste good your every all the seasoning that you're gonna need make sure it's in here before you add your um your bit eyeball so once I know everything is perfect, I'm adding my bitter ball and I'm just going to stir this up and make sure everything is well mixed. Allow, allow that to cook for about five to six minutes again because, you know, the bitter ball is already cooked as well. If you have fresh bitter ball, you obviously have to let it, let it cook for a little bit. Or if you do have fresh bitter ball, I forgot to say this in the beginning. If you do have fresh bitter ball, make sure you boil your bitter ball on the side before you smash it because i don't know how possible it's going to be for you to smash fresh bit apples but yeah you know you know what i'm talking about what i just added are my bony stockfish and my dry shrimp i like i blend them and that's what i just added on top of it i also added my meat <clears throat> i'm going to stir this up and like i said everything is already cooked in that pot so I'm just going to stir it up and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes, 20, 10 to 20 minutes on very low heat. So to allow the soup and the meat, everything to mix in the taste of the soup to go in the bones because I love to eat my bones. So yeah, this is the soup. Tell me if you try this in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. And you can also enjoy this um, soup with some rice, white rice, brown rice, um, plantain. We ate this with plantain and yams with my friends. We ate it with rice because, you know, my grandpa, we eat everything with rice. So, yeah, eat it with rice, yam, cassava, whatever you want.